And just like General Mathis once said, you know, uh, be polite, be professional, but have a plan to kill everyone you meet because you never know. Christ. That's the advice coming to you from Fox News, uh, the Christian news source. Uh, everywhere you go for the rest of your life, you should be prepared to murder everyone around you because they're probably preparing to murder you. And all of this is not a description of some sort of hellscape that, oh dear God, how have we ended up in this place and how can we get out of it? They're fine with that. They think you should be more prepared to kill people, but we shouldn't do anything to stop that situation from happening. We shouldn't change anything. We should all be ready. So what's the best weapon? I mean, I guess it's the mug. I guess that if one of the producers is out there, Bust it through the door because they probably will. I should break the mug over their head and then try to cut their throat with it. That's what I'm getting from the Christian news source. If I can find something better, maybe a light or like a pole or something, I could probably Edwin, use this run, pole actually run, to beat people run. to death. That's what we should be thinking Edwin, about. Run. Can you think of a better, like a better way to demonstrate that a society has utterly failed yes. than that everyone should constantly be ready to murder everyone around them? Not at all. Or a society that's failed by the fact that. In just the last couple of weeks, people who've turned into the wrong driveway, knocked on the wrong door, um, have been shot and killed. Because exactly that, we've been telling people to stay afraid, be afraid, be armed at all times. Have a loaded weapon and shoot first and ask questions later. And if push comes to shove and you get held accountable, you just plead that you were scared. That is it. So it's like, yeah, yeah, buddy, how's that working out for us? It seems like it's leading to more bloodshed. Or is your argument that the person who was shot at should have also returned fire and then maybe both of them could have died? I America. So when young adults who don't want children are asked why, they often give reasons like personal independence or I just don't want children, very individualistic reasons. Hmm. Yeah, individualism to me is a nice way to also frame the concept of selfishness. Um, these are people focusing on their own individual needs and desires as opposed to those of perhaps of a family. I can't think of a more deeply personal decision than to have a baby. <laughs> yeah, I think that is a one decision that it's good for it to be personal. It's okay to be selfish. <laughs> you don't want to have a baby, don't have a baby, but that is Apparently, the uh, the next thing conservatives are uh, upset about, um, and of course, it's not any of their business as kids. You know, no matter how much they want it to be. Uh, here's the actual unsurprising reasons young people are foregoing having children. So, according to the Institute for Family Studies, uh, a weighted average of both Gen Z and Millennial respondents suggests a greater role for economic concerns than the top line results. The cross tab suggests that. For about three in 10 young adults, ages 18 to 41, who say they do not want to have children. The biggest factor in their decision is the personal financial situation followed by work life balance at 21%. Maintaining my personal independence came in at third at 18%. Um, young adults are much more likely to express concerns about reproduction and its connection to climate change as well. So there's one question in particular which, which spotlighted this concern. That people shouldn't have children because the parents, uh, the potential child's quality of life would be too poor. So we have this graph that demonstrates that. On this point, though, I want to say, if you're someone who believes this, if you're someone who believes people shouldn't have children because of climate change, and someone tells you that they want to have a child, don't be an ass. Don't tell <laughs> them that they shouldn't have children because of climate change. That's a decision that you've reached. That's a belief that you hold, but I think that I mean it's just as goofy, right? As when you know conservatives are saying you have to have a baby. If you're telling people they can't have kids, right? This again, it's not your business. It's a personal decision. I don't see too much of that, but anytime I do see that, it definitely irks me. Yeah, I mean, 
as someone who had a kid and as someone who also said I didn't want to have a kid because of climate change, but then fell into the deepest, darkest despair of the pandemic and was like, what have I to live for except for start family and then started family. I feel I have a lot of things to say about this. Number one, the right is so full of it. Right, because they love personal freedom. There's nothing they love more than individual liberty. And actually, not having a kid or having a kid is the height of individual liberty in a lot of ways. That being said, I wish that it weren't so. As someone who has a kid, I wish that actually we lived and our society was structured in a way where it didn't have to only fall to one person, i.e. the parent and all the things that they must give up, all the money they must make. And, and we had more of a community and a society that were amenable to people becoming parents, to raising their kids, to being able to have affordable childcare or universal pre-K or all of the other things, right? Like this is how we've atomized our American society and privatized everything to the point where you can only really have kids if you're rich. Right, and that's effectively, or if you're like me and you're like, hey, mom, dad, can I please, <laughs> can you help out with childcare? And I'm lucky, I am lucky to be able to do that. So, you know, it is, it is so ridiculous to spin this any other way when the stats say right there, the number one reason people aren't having kids or don't want to is because economically it is way too expensive and they're not wrong. So that doesn't mean they're not they're anti-family. It just means we need to actually like we need a like come on people can't afford a homes, right? So we need to change the economic situation in this country before people can actually make that decision.